It's my boy Teach. Hola. Me llamo Toby. <laughs> Alright, so today we're in the weight room. I uh, get the weight room vlog going. So, big part of any athlete's life is um, the weight room. Is, is the weight room, especially in, you know, we play football. So, this is, this is a huge thing for us. You guys probably can't see this because it's on a mirror. Look, look at that idiot. Oh, you yeah, got me. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to go over the workout real quick. Tell. So get first off, off, I don't know if you guys can see, but he'll Deficit see. squats, uh, four by two, as slow as you can go. So that's a squat from the bottom up, you know, like Drake said, start from the bottom. Stop. Uh, Stop. Stability is stupid. Uh, two by eight, power shrugs, two by three. Hand cleans three by four, deadlifts four by six, and single leg squats two by six each. Let's go. Let's go. So we'll go through and show you everything that we're doing. Uh, I'll get you some videos of our sets, but uh, big leg day. Big, yeah, big leg day. But we're uh, really just excited to get started. So let's go, boys. Ah! Oh, it's so uh, we're gonna do we call it a pin squat, deficit squat, whatever you want to do, whatever you're gonna call it. So, so you're gonna set up your safety, your safety arms. Set up your safety arms to where a parallel squat is. So a parallel squat, you wanna get your hips about hip width apart, or your feet hip width apart. You wanna sit down to where your, your, your legs are parallel to the ground, above your knee. So you wanna get it to where your parallel part of your squat is. You can do this with, um, with any pr trouble part of your squat, but I really have a problem getting out of the hole. So. And what um, is the hole? The lowest part of the squat. So, you know, when you hit parallel and up. So, we're, we got the bar set up here. So, yeah. you're going to set yourself up under the... Oh, I shouldn't have got around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have to edit that. God damn. Um, so, you want to roll the bar back about midway on your safety pin so you don't come too far forward when you squat it. I like to put my hands about the ring, about to the ring finger. I squat high bar, which means the backs on, or the bars on my traps in the top part of my back. So, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get under the bar, bend at your hips, sit down like this. You can just get ready, how we oh slide back. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm gonna get under the bar and drop <sighs> and lock out of the top. You're gonna control it on the way down. Force your knees out. Force your knees out, sink back, let it sit, and repeat for however many guys are on your set. So that's the pin squat. And I up. Come on. Keep your chest high. Force those knees out. Let's go. Force them out. Force them out. Pop those knees out. Pop the knees out. Hold it. Okay, top. Good, slow. Slow. Good. Drive. Good. Really good. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one. Um, so so we we got stability ball, leg raises now, and leg leg curls. So, put the ball, you get a uh, nice med ball, put the ball on the ground, <coughs> lay down. It's actually an exercise ball, not a med ball. Okay, my bad. So, you lay down, put your feet elevated on the ball, and then you got two phases of this lift, right? So, the first one, prep your hips up, and then you using your legs, you drive to your ankles, and then curl the ball in, slowly, release it back out, hips down, and then repeat. <laughs>
remember that I uh, forgot to explain the deficit deadlift. So to deficit deadlift, you're gonna wanna take usually uh, a 45 pound plate, a bumper plate. Um, it'll be a good enough deficit to where you can feel it in your hamstrings more. So you're gonna put a 45 pound plate under your bar. Uh, you'll see it in, in our clips, but you're gonna put a 45 plate, pound plate in the middle of your bar and then stand on it. And then from there, you're just gonna do a normal deadlift form with as much you know weight as you can safely do. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Should we just slam 315 then? Let's go. Big chest. Shoulders back. Stand up. Up. Lock out. Nice wedgie. Let's go. Let's go. You got two more on you. Let's go. Big chest. Stand up. There you go. You got one more on you. Big chest, shoulders back, up, come on, come on Teach. come on, you got one more, you got one more, I know you got it in you, let's go. Big chest, big chest, ass down. Up, get it up, get it up. Slow. Here's a, come on. Four reps, let's go. Good. So unfortunately, um, I'm sure you guys will see a couple of the clips from the deficit deadlifts, but uh, we did have to cut a little short. Might have messed my back up doing those, so we're just going to be safe. Uh, we're going to move on to the hand clean, um, three by four, so here we go. So here you see us doing the hand clean. The hand clean is an Olympic lift that promotes uh, explosiveness and leg drive. So here, it really you can also work your hips really well. So here, um, we're doing a little altered hand clean by dropping down all the way and almost, almost trying to jump with the bar instead of more just trying to pull it up and get under it as fast as possible. So here, this is really promoting our flexibility in our uh, hip flexors and really driving with our hamstrings and our glutes. So um, our main goal when you're lifting like this is first of all, hit your depth and catch it to correct depth. Uh, in my sets, you can see I do catch it a little bit high, but uh, you really want to catch it at that parallel squat position, so it'll help you drive out of the hole as well as um, as as well as just being explosive. Um, and another thing, so also with the hand clean, since we do play football, it's really parallel with the line, driving your hips and punching your hands. Um, so yeah. Doug, that's the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Who let the dogs